Welcome to this edition of the Western Fishing Branch Partnership. It's hard to believe that we're in a tournament time. We're in the playoff season. The season's gone so fast for us. We hope that the series of videos we've done for you has helped you in your officiating career this year and going forward in years to come. We've covered a lot of ground. We started with fitness and skating. We've talked about communication and positioning and so many other topics that we just really hope has helped you. Think about the life skills you've learned this year, officiating. Certainly you've learned communication, how to make decisions, how to make quick decisions, how to talk to people, how to talk to people when they're angry. So some really good life skills that, that we're learning through officiating that's gonna help us in our, in our life at uh, school, at work, at home. So it's just some really important things for us. I think now is a good time in the season to reach out to your fishing coaches. Ask them how your season went, what you can improve on, things you can do to prepare for next season already. Ask them about opportunities. Is there some summer opportunities? Certainly most branches have summer camps. Um, they have hockey camps that maybe we can attach our, our officiating resume to. So lots of different opportunities. Good time for you to ask your, your local branches or organizations the things you can do. Uh, certainly within the Western Hockey League, we have an exposure camp. I'm sure some of you have been to, some of you are certainly going to apply to this year. So not just another camp to maybe look to and, and consider applying to us for the Western Hockey League exposure camp. You know, I think that camps like this are great and kind of showing you some of the ways things are done outside maybe your own area and just give you some different ideas and different perspectives. So it's been awesome. To be able to pack all of this much in with the amount of wealth and wisdom that we have is, is uh, pretty incredible. So I think that makes it a great camp. The big eyes are on you. You're now putting a face to the name and you're building that first step, those connections with the people who you want to see you. Camps like this give you the opportunity to showcase your skills. They give you the opportunity to measure yourself against the competition and to see where the bar is. But I don't think there is another camp out there that is as put together as well run or gives anybody a taste of being a pro as this camp. One of the great things during the season are officiating nights. What is put on by the local association, by a team, maybe by your branch, but what great events those are for us all to get together and spend a night together and talk officiating and, and really celebrate what we put back into the game. What you guys put back in the game as officials within your branches and your organizations. Some of the other cool things that happen during the season are awards, whether it be a upcoming official award, rookie of the year award, whether it be for a volunteer, for a long time service, for some of those people that put so much back into our program over the years to make us and our programs better. Those are some tremendous nights. I think what would be good now is to hear from our branches. Let's hear them recap their season, talk about their successes, things they've done well, maybe talk about some of their awards nights, things that are going on this summer, opportunities you might have. Let's hear from our branches. First off, I wanna thank all our partners who are involved in this video series. It's great to have it back and a very informative tool for all officials and those involved. I wanna say thanks to all the officials, the official coaches, instructors, assigners, administrators, and all those who support officials throughout the season. We are very proud to have the most officials ever registered with Hockey Saskatchewan this season, and look to continue that by building on the retention and keeping the officials involved and having a passion for the game. With that, we want to focus on high-level instruction and on-ice coaching to help provide the support for all officials' development. I want to say congratulations to all officials who had professional, international, and national assignments, as well as those who had assignments and opportunities in our programs, including Sask First, the Sask Officiating School of Excellence, Female Futures, Try Officiating, and other programs involved with our branch. Also, congratulations and good luck to those officials who have earned playoff and provincial assignments at this point of the season. Everybody knows working hard Doing your best job at this point of the season is what gets you another opportunity to continue working and work the big games that we're all striving for. At this point, that is the, the key part, is to put in a good effort, have a positive attitude, and enjoy the rest of the season. Finally, I want to say I appreciate everyone's efforts down the stretch, wish you the best of luck, and look forward to sharing information about scholarships, 
the SOS ECAMP, power skating sessions, fitness testing and training opportunities, as well as the member high performance camp and other initiatives as we move into next season. Thank you, good luck, and enjoy the rest of the season. I would like to thank the WHL partnership for our officiating videos. Um, I would like also to thank all of our officials this year. Uh, we had over 2,000 officials for the 23-24 season. Uh, some upcoming events this year, we have our TELUS Cup and SO Cup Regionals in Winnipeg, as well as um, male and female POE throughout the April and summer months. Those are also great opportunities to get into our high performance programming. Um, some special thanks I would like to give out to Amy Martin, who's doing the Women's Worlds, as well as um, all of our high performance working any junior hockey games. Uh, to find anything on officials, you can go to hockeymanitoba.ca or you can email me at twitcher at hockeymanitoba.ca um, as well as any social media platforms. BC Hockey would like to thank all officials for an outstanding season. Congratulations to you that reached personal goals and to the many officials that received special assignments, some of which will be highlighted in the BC Hockey Annual Report. Thank you also to the Western Hockey League and the Western Branches for the continued support and development of this video series. We look forward to seeing you all next year and good luck with the rest of the season. Thanks to all of our officials at BC Hockey for an outstanding season. And thank you to the officiating coaches who have dedicated a lot of time at the arena and in the dressing rooms, mentoring, equipping, coaching our young officials uh, and more experienced officials on how to be a little bit better on the ice, a little bit better with communication, positioning, and everything else that comes along with the officiating. So uh, thanks for offering those development opportunities to the young officials. And speaking of which, we have more development opportunities for young officials moving forward into the summer with the BC Hockey Summer Officiating School taking place in Salmon Arm and in Lake Cowichan in the end of July, early August. So look forward to those links on our website, bchockey.net. And uh, we hope that all the officials had a great season. Take a little bit of time away from the arena uh, enjoy the sunshine and then get back uh, ready to do it early next uh, September. I am uh, Liam McIsaac, Manager of Officiating for Hockey Alberta. Just wanted to take a minute to thank all of our officials for all their hard work over the year, all of our officiating coaches, mentors, supervisors, uh, and wish good luck to any of our officials working national tournaments this year, any, and any of our officials going to summer development opportunities, working playoffs, and enjoy your summer and we'll see you guys next fall. Thank you for letting me be a part of this officiating journey and a part of this series and a part of your season. I want to thank the Western Hockey League and the four Western branches, BC Hockey, Hockey Alberta, Hockey Saskatchewan and Hockey Manitoba for their help and dedication through this project. I want to thank all the officials that helped us with interviews and their time. I want to thank the local minor hockey officials, the Western Hockey League officials and certainly the National Hockey League officials who helped us in this program. A special thank you to Alex from Western Hockey, Western Hockey League office who helped put all this video together. But most importantly, I want to thank each and every one of you for the time and effort you put into the game, for being an official in Western Canada and being part of our program. Without you, there would be no hockey. I think it's important now that you take some time away from the game, play some golf, spend some time with family and friends, just get away for a little bit and then get ready for next season. Whether it be starting some fitness stuff, some skating stuff, the summer program opportunities we've talked about, but things that get you prepared for next season to come back in September, ready to go, excited, and can't wait for the season to start. For now, I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope you have a tremendous summer, and we can't wait to see you back in the ice in 2024-25.